Good morning, everybody. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share. You know all the good stuff. Um, I greatly appreciate it. As I've always said, this is your channel as well as it is mine. If it's not for you guys that watch, uh, we wouldn't have a channel. Somebody sent this to me yesterday, It's and I give the credit for the audio or whatever. I'm not sure when this video was made, but Chasing Truth brought it out day before yesterday, I believe it was, and I give her kudos. I'm not sure, like I said, when it was made. I don't know if this is an older video or something that Jody Sue has just came out with. In my opinion, if it's something she just came out with, to me, she looks and sounds tired of hiding the truth. Um, and possibly she'll come out with the truth soon. Uh, I have always said that I do not believe that she had anything to do with Summer's disappearance. And I still stick to that. I think she has knowledge, possibly, especially after listening to this. She has knowledge of what happened. And that's what I'm saying. She's getting tired. The guilt is eating her up. Now, I had someone tell me, oh, well, it's, it's funny. She's... Maybe she's just saying this because I had mentioned, you know, could possibly she be talking about Andy. And they're like, oh, well, she would say anything. She hates Andy. Well, maybe she's not saying it because she hates Andy, you know, as in a lie. Maybe she's just over holding the information in and she's telling the truth because she hates Andy. I mean, and I'm not accusing anybody of anything. These are strictly my opinions, my thoughts on this video and what she is actually saying. Now. Way to the world. Way to the goddamn world. Well, everybody else went somewhere. Really? Wait a minute. He watches others throughout all the days and weeks and stuff. They're curious too. They notice the dogs. They notice patterns and cycles too. They have put them down because they're joyous. Somebody else has noticed what they noticed. Right. Yeah. But the adults around them shut them the hell down and tell them to shut the fuck up about it. Now, in that first clip, that I'm played, um, she's talking about somebody having the weight of the world on them. I'm assuming she's talking about the boys and the fact that they have noticed patterns and stuff about like where the dogs are going each day. The dogs are sniffing around something. The dogs are going across the road, possibly to 125. In my opinion, that's what I get from what she's saying, and that that when they try to talk to a, the adults because they've noticed that the adults are seeing the same thing they're seeing and when they try to talk to the adults about it the adults are shutting them down telling them that the, the dogs are just stupid you know blah 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 like jody sue says and it shuts the kids down when they try to say something stupid animals stupid dogs shut the fuck up bad and blah blah right okay yeah. 
but it's moments like those that make you okay well little one wouldn't be that hey oh my gosh somebody else has noticed what i noticed and this Aaron told you mom i told you you know the animals the dogs are acting different they're going to certain places what if they're going to where summer is okay so in the second clip in my opinion she's talking about the youngest boy in the family saying you know he he's the one evidently that has paid the most attention to about what the dogs are doing where they're going and stuff and he's running to candace and saying look mom look see i told you i told you and of course candace pays no attention to him which is a shame I tell them to shut the fuck up. Fuck the animals, fuck the dogs. Stupid fucking dog nick with a fuck, blah, blah, right? And then they just get this dejected look quick. Nobody in the world's listening. Nobody's paying attention. And again, she's talking about, and I would like to know how, unless she was there or unless she talked to the boys, but how would she know this is what's going on? But she's saying, that when when the boys, but mainly the youngest one, I'm assuming, when they've tried to talk to Candace or Don or whoever, the adults just blow them off. They do not want to hear. Them. They don't pay attention to what the boys are saying. And guys, you need to pay attention to what kids are saying. A lot of times, the kids are not just making stuff up. But in my opinion. That's what's being said. And she's saying that the, the boys, the youngest one, gets this just hurtful look that nobody is taking him serious. Nobody listens to him when he's noticing what's going on with the dogs. When he's saying, hey, the dogs might be trying to, you know, go to where Summer's at. Why don't y'all listen? Why don't y'all go look? That tells me that if something happened to Summer. And on this clip, like I said, unless she talked to the boys herself and she's listening, she's hearing what they're saying about where the dogs are going and the repetitive actions of the dogs and how they're acting strange. Or unless she has firsthand knowledge of what may have happened. She's saying that something happened to Summer at her very address. So, and I want to call y'all's attention back. Way back when, when Summer, a few months after Summer got gone, I'm not sure, I didn't hear it on Jody Sue's channel because I don't watch her channel, never have really. But I did hear it on Miss Daisy's channel. Miss Daisy was playing an audio clip that of Jody Sue where Jody Sue, and I'm going to, this is going to be quoted incorrectly. I do not remember exact words that were used, but basically this is what was said, was that there was a tennis shoe found in Andy's truck. And no, I'm not accusing Andy. I'm just saying this is what was said. There was a tennis shoe found in Andy's truck and that we will all be sorry when he goes out here and unalives another child again. And that is also, this. if I'm remembering correctly, that's also the same clip where she says that Andy had told his daughter that the last time he saw Summer was in that black tote. Now, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I'm almost positive that's what was said in that clip that was played on Miss Daisy's channel, like I said, a few months after Summer went missing. So. Could Andy have actually have done something and Jody Sue have first knowledge of it, first-hand knowledge of it? Or does she just suspect that that's what happened and that's why the dogs kept going over to her property? Is that what the something happened to Summer on 125 Ben Hill Road? Who knows? 125. And certain kids had no knowledge of it, nor were they witness to. 
Now, in this clip, she's saying that certain kids had no knowledge of what happened, nor were they a witness to it. So we wouldn't be thinking that she's talking about the Wells children, because why would the Wells children be at 125? So, and we know how defensive she is about her own children. So is she trying to spill the beans about what happened to Summer, but making sure that nobody thinks that her children knew anything about it or seen anything? They weren't a witness to it. That's why, that's another thing that makes me think Jody Sue may have firsthand knowledge of it, of what happened. And she wants to make sure nobody thinks that her children were involved in any kind of way. We all know she's been very protective of her children. That tells me that if something happened somewhere on 125, and certain kids had no knowledge of it, nor were they witness to. One ten. And just one ten. Certain kids had or something. Nobody's paying attention. That tells me that. If something happened somewhere on 125, and certain kids had no knowledge of it, nor were they witness to. One ten, just right. Road in between means that they didn't hear shit. Fancy shit. Right. Now, in this clip, you have to wonder, maybe she's not talking about her kids. Maybe she is talking about the Wells children because, and everybody it keeps that I've heard of keeps saying, well, then obviously she, something happened to Summer on the road. No, that's not what she's saying. What Jody Sue said was something happened to Summer on 125. And because there is a road, you know, a holler between the, the hill or the mountain she lives on and 110. If the kids were down the road a ways or up on, you know, the hill, whatever. Because the road goes between it, the holler goes between it. They would not have heard what happened. Now, if Andy was at work, like everybody's saying, like he says, and I'm assuming, you know, supposedly it was said so by the law enforcement, could possibly one of her dogs, I mean, we've heard so much about this big dog she had, could the dog have gotten hold of someone? And that's what the boys didn't hear. Maybe that's what happened to Summer. Uh, we, de we don't know. We're never going to know. But could the, the kids she's talking about didn't witness it, didn't see it, has no knowledge of what happened. But maybe it was the Wells kids. I'm not sure. But I'm telling y'all, I see this woman wants to tell what happened. She knows. I don't think she was involved, but I believe she knows for sure. What happened? You don't know where everyone is wearing the way to the world. Because people are blaming them. Or maybe not keeping them out watching summer. There's all kinds of things you don't know. Right? Part of the puzzle is the virus. It's like, well, something happened to her own. I mean, boys are out with her. Right? 
Now here she's saying that evidently it's the boys that are weighing, uh, carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. The Wells children. Simply because their mom and dad constantly told them they were supposed to watch Summer. And evidently they were down playing outside. She says they, the boys were supposed to have been outside with Summer, right? Keeping an eye on her. And then something happens. And now everybody's blaming the oldest one is who, who she's talking about right this minute. Blaming him because he was supposed to have been watching Summer. And she disappeared or something happened to her while the, all the kids were outside playing and he didn't keep a close enough eye on her. But were they not out there long? Did they see whoever Red Flash was? It came out. Did they hear a car door? I'm doing away. At what point were they on? Because I truly, truly believe that they were all well. So I was supposed to be playing, keeping out. Right? I believe that. Sometimes it is. But I also know that maybe somebody had them say different things. And I, guys, I'm not sure if I even know what I'm talking about here, but in this one, it sounds like somebody came up there in a red vehicle and maybe took Summer. Maybe this is what she's saying. And that certain people who can only be one of the four or five people there, which would have been Jody Sue, Andy, Grandis, Don, or Candace is telling this child if they did see anything, if they heard a car door, if they saw the red vehicle of whatever and knew that somebody took Summer, they are not supposed to be saying it. They, you know, don't say that. You tell a different story, whatever. Now, keep in mind, Don did get in trouble with CPS because when the last time he saw the boys, he was trying to talk to uh, the oldest one about Summer. Now, what we all suspected that he was, you know, saying something that he shouldn't have been saying, trying to, you know, make sure that he sticks to the story or whatever. Could this be what she's talking about? I don't know. But watching person is... Just the reaction to certain things, right? To certain kids, no more than others, do not know anything. Okay, and then, and like I said before, I may be wrong, guys, but to me, she's saying that she, you know, you watch Candace, and Candace has certain reactions to certain things, but is it that the kids actually do know more? than other people know? Do they know what happened? Did they tell their mom and dad? And just other people don't know what happened or, you know, who it was that took her or what may have happened to her. I'm trying to listen to this. I'm trying to get what I can out of it. I mean, y'all can ignore what I'm saying or you can try to feed on it and come up with your own conclusions, I'm not sure here. Is it just they're being blamed for? Right? Is that why the, what did you do, what did you do, nothing, mama, nothing, mama, I swear. And, and once again, like I said, you know, she's saying is that why the boys, or the eldest one at least, is being blamed for Summer's disappearance or whatever happened to Summer. Because, and I've talked about this several times and I cannot find the clip where it says and I'm, it may have been Jody Sue that told this story, but somebody could hear Candace outside yelling at the boys saying, what did you do? What did you do? And evidently, I missed the part where the, the boy says, I, nothing, Mama, I swear, nothing. But if you remember, Don says that one of them said, 
uh, said that he was sorry for something. I don't know what it was. I forget the exact conversation. But the boy said something to Don about, oh, it wasn't my fault. That's what he said. He told his dad, it wasn't my fault, I swear. Don told that story, remember? But you wonder as a parent or mom anyway. You wonder how in the hell grown adults can make another child feel responsible for. And within days of their sister and shit missing. They're like, guess here's one big shit out of the fuck is that, bro? So was it Dawn or Candace that threatened to beat the shit out of whichever one of the boys or all of them over summer going missing? Like she said, you know, how can as a, a parent or as a mother, so I guess we're assuming that it was Candace that made this statement to the boys about beating the shit out of them, but how can a parent or a mother make another child feel guilty? I mean, if it was for whatever reason, something, you know, the boys didn't watch her close enough, whatever, they're going to have to deal with that for the rest of their life, if that's even the truth. But for a parent to lay that on top of them and, and, and accuse them or blame them for their baby sister getting gone, that's just wrong. And, and as a parent, I don't see how somebody could do that either. I mean, I'm sorry, but I don't. I have to agree with her on this. Okay, sir. And tell the other one who's like, hey, notice these patterns too. You take all their hope away their thoughts or just dismiss them. Yeah, because, I mean, if if the boys really thought that she was missing, you know, somebody took her or she was just lost and, you know, the parents screaming and yelling at them and blaming them, it would douse any hope that a child had of their their baby sibling, boy or girl, getting found or being brought back home safe. You know, we can only imagine, let's say that Summer disappeared and Don and Candace had no knowledge of it. And it was while the boys were outside playing outside with her and she comes up missing or something happened to her. If a parent was to jump all over that child and blame them, it, that would douse their hopes, their dreams. That That would just make them feel like... Lower than a snake's belly, guys. And it's just horrible to think that anybody can do that to a child. You know, all they're trying to do is think like the rest of us of anything that can help find Summer, which is their sister. Right. And in conclusion, I mean, like she said, all the boys are trying to do, like throughout this whole, you know, the, earlier in this video, she's like, they're telling their parents or the adults or whoever, you know, look at, pay attention to the dogs. Watch where the dogs go. They're, they're doing stuff repetitively. They're going to the same place. You know, I'm noticing the dogs are acting weird. Maybe they know where Summer's at. And the parents, the adults around them just keep shutting them down and acting like the child is, has no common sense or, you know, don't have a clue as to what's going on. When all these kids, if this is what's going on, all they are doing is trying to figure out what happened to their sister. They're trying to do what they can as a child to help find their sister. And with a child or with an adult attacking a child when they're doing, it's not a whole lot a child can do in a situation like this. And if the adults around them are not listening to them, they're shutting them down every time they try to tell them something. That's that's not good. That's not good at all, guys. Anyways, I just wanted to get my opinion about this video out. I did listen to it a, a bunch of times, actually. There was a few words here and there that she actually said that I thought I could hear what was being said. But I'm, I'm right there with Chasing Truth. I can't get through her mumbling. But in my heart, in my gut, those are the things that, I have, what I felt, what I thought about what she was saying. 
So either's you know, either a dog, a grown man, possibly, possibly her Jody Sue's son done something to Summer while she was over at you know across the road at 125 and the boys were supposed to be watching Summer outside and something happened to her then Candace comes in and, and blames the boys like us like we've said a thousand times she yells at them and says what have you done I mean, maybe the, remember the threat that Jody Sue got way back early on where it says that somebody from out of state saw what happened? Maybe Damien, you know, did hit Summer with the vehicle. Maybe it is true that they, they laid Summer over into, on Ben Hill side of the road. Maybe that's what Candace was actually screaming about. What have you done? Because the boys were down there supposed to have been watching her and, and she thought maybe they had done something or the fact that they didn't watch her well enough to keep her out of the road and you know this happened but that still does not make sense when it comes to where is summer wells at now i could not imagine a mother hiding a a body to keep a neighbor's kid from going to prison i could not imagine now, I could imagine a mother possibly hiding a body to protect their own child. And maybe that's the whole thing about the walking through the creek to get the scent off. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's just my thoughts on it. We are all throwing, you know, we're throwing popcorn up in the air and hoping that we're going to be able to catch it with a teaspoon with this case with these ideas with these theories with what little information we're getting and then again you know i mean although there are some things that have stayed consistent with jody sue things that she said throughout and maybe she's just you know got a good memory and she can remember some lies that she's told but maybe she has inserted herself into this and she really doesn't know anything and has nothing to do with it. And she's just hoping she's going to get a movie deal out of it. Who knows? I mean, really, who knows? But that's my thoughts on this video. I think in my heart, I believe Jody Sue did not personally, physically do anything to Summer. But I do believe she knows who did it, what happened to her, and where she was moved to. Since this video, I believe that. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful day, guys. Love on your kids. Talk with your parents. And say thanks to the good Lord above, guys.